Hey, it's Anfa, and this is day five of my um, making off for the um, FM challenge. Uh, let's listen what we have so far. So this is a, a common problem uh, where the first bar, the first uh, clip disappears. So I'm going to go control middle click, control right click actually. I'm going to just append the letter, change the name. I think we need more distortion in this, to be honest with you, very much more. We really need to distort the shit out of it. nice. I think we have too much of a decay, so I'm going to use a gate. I also want to add a sidechain compressor with the kick. Oh, uh, wait, do we? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, we have a sidechain bus. So, no, 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 no need for sidechain compressor. It's already there. Yeah, it's, it's there. It's doing its job. I think we need to add some automated uh, effects on this bass. So. Let's play around with a comp filter, maybe. <clears throat> However, I would like to use it inside of this. Um, yeah, basically within mm, a split signal. So we're just. Uh, Two instances, please. Uh, let's bypass the lows and the just two, not three. And the highs will go here, go back. Yay. Yep. Tak. Yep, now let's automate the comp filter band separation. Just basically the cutoff frequency, but yeah. Let's set it to play. Whoa, Shift Z. I pressed F to 
maximized. Let's see what we can do. Oh yeah, pretty radical. A bit too much, I would say. Let's try maybe. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's lovely. Let's see. And let's do. Repeat that and go up. Whoa, nope, and just dive on this note. Let's see what was going to happen. Could be weird. Yeah. Yeah, this is very low, so it's gonna be, sound like a delay. <coughs> now just go very high with this. And that's pretty sweet. Let's play with everything else. Yeah, very, very nice. Okay, uh, let's save this as a new snapshot. How about if we ramp up the feedback a bit? Excellent. This makes me wanna. I don't know what to do. I have some idea. Uh, I want to put a filter there too. A notch, or maybe a band pass. Yes, a band pass manual config. One instance again bypassing the bass frequencies, just operating on the mids and highs, and one MIDI output. I need more. Okay, this is gonna be good. Oh dear, I should wolf shape this before. I think I should wolf shape it before and after. Let's see. Yeah, definitely. Two wolf shapers are better than one. Pretty harsh, pretty aggressive. I think we can back off the feedback a little bit because you know, it's too much. Oh, 
okay, I think I want the filter actually after. No more manual config. Yeah, let's just use it here. Oh, now we have my multiple outputs. Should be an easy way to undo that somehow without having to go here and remove a report manually. Oh, we also need to uh, think there might be some DC offset. Let's put it before the gate. What is this sound? Why is there? Oh, we're actually using three wolf shapers here. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah we're distorting this quite a lot. I think the <coughs> yeah, I think we were having too much processing happening. I hope it's not going to crush anything, so I'm going to save the session. Hello. Should be good. Alrighty, let's make this a band pass. Ah, uh, yeah, we need another crossover. All right, let's just copy this. I know, let's just go copy this and this, copy, paste, right? Now put the filter here and now just play with the routing. One instance, one media output, bypassing the lows, doing things to the mids and highs. Okay. All right, and the mixer. And we need to swap these. That should be good. And again, we have this. I've been fixing this once. Now I have to fix it twice. All right. Yeah, that's great because now whatever we do, we have this low, uh, low frequency sub bass basically there. Because without it, this doesn't doesn't work. So yeah, now I can automate the call filter <coughs> frequency, and we have a bandpass growl, whatever that is. Now let's make it play the automation. <coughs> Let's see how that sounds. Oh, yeah, let's just make a bigger ramp like from lower to higher. Just slowly following it down. And it's going up again. It's going. Ah, oh, yeah. Just it's getting back up and it's getting again. Oh, that's too high. And this is ramping even more. 
logarithmically. And this slowly falling. Actually, no, it should be ramping down logarithmically too. Like this. Oh, that's nice. I like. Let's save it. And now, let's play the whole part. In the end, we need to add some multi band compression to even out to kind of crush the. Easiest thing is just to crush the input. Then make the Pretty sweet. Let's uh, add an equalizer at the end, or maybe a compressor just to even out everything, even after the multi band compression. And yeah, the EQ is mandatory. I think, yeah, I should probably put the EQ before uh, the compressor because, you know, uh, feeding an unbalanced sound to a compressor will give you an unbalanced compression, basically, if you... We have a flanger also here that doesn't isn't automated. We should fix that. I think I forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, and that oh, was that was messing up our sound. No, it's something else. Something else. Something is. <laughs> it's not electric bass. Hmm, something is not perfectly fine with this. I'm going to see, maybe if I send it to master. Something still doesn't sound very nice. some reverb because that would explain everything oh no there's e delay no there is not so 
something is what the heck something's not right something weird is happening something very weird that I didn't actually want let's disable all the f modulation effects and see Yeah, it sounds doubled here. What the heck? Is that because of the, f the calm filter? But it's not. It's turned off. Uh, I think it's just a patch. Okay. I think we need more DC offset removers because something is not right. And I think it's because of DC offset. After every wolf shaper, let there be a DC offset remover. And maybe it's gonna fix it. It's not perfect now, but it's better. Well, yeah, it's weird. Mm, very, very weird. This isn't to the both both sounds I think the doubled sound is actually because of I'm overloading the DSP load. <coughs> I think the doubled sound is actually because I'm overloading the DSP load, yeah. Wow, I have too much effects, man. But you know what? They said it's okay to bounce if you want to save uh, processing power, so I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to make myself a couple of Audio tracks, free golden freezer, and I'm gonna freeze the first base for now. Okay, so I'm gonna go get input from. Base one, base one, left, right. Yep. I'm just gonna record this. <sighs> my goodness, I'm overloading my system so hard. Okay, let's disable the electric bass track. Yep. Now the DSP load should go down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it, it went down significantly. Okay, now I can sample this, record this track. Nice. Now I can just disable this one, which is going to save me CPU time. I actually need to freeze this base too. Uh, because this is the, the the biggest offender, the worst offender <laughs> I have actually. Oh my goodness, I have actually managed to to tank to kill my Ryzen 7 1700 CPU with the with DSP load with this 
track. We're allowed. That didn't happen to me. Freezer out. Oh, this is out. I need. No, yeah, I should configure in. Hello. I'm. I'm a bit afraid that the, that the recording could be a bit corrupted because of this thing hanging. I mean, a bit. Okay, so it's electric base. It's not really electric base. It's electronic base. Ideas change. Okay, let's let's just bounce it. My goodness, let's just bounce it and forget about it. Holy crap! I can't bounce it like this. You know, I need to stop the recording for a, for a little while, okay? Uh, hold, ha hang on, stay there. Okay, I have bounced it in... Um, I have bounced it in uh, freewheeling mode, so I have no extrans. Now we have it on, a, on an audio track, so... What? Okay, fine, we have a fucking stuck note there. I need to redo this. Hold on a second. Alright, it should be it should be okay now. Let's disable this track. So we have DSP load again at reasonable levels. Nice. Let's let's see if that works. I think it sounds decent. <laughs> okay, I'm not touching that because I'm basically not allowed to. <laughs> um, okay, let's let's work on different things. Or maybe, maybe I'm gonna finish this for now because uh, it's actually kind of late. I need to go to sleep. Tomorrow is Monday. Gotta gotta go. Gotta go work my work my job. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope that was useful. I'll see you in the next day of this making off. Yeah. Bye.